Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me, Pierre Farrugia and Vince Paca. Unfortunately, our buddy um, Angelo Caruana could not make it today, but I'm sure he will come to visit here soon. Uh, today we are in Rendi and we are going to visit Mala uh, Catacomb. From what I'm reading, these are uh, Paleo-Christian Catacomb. And uh, from the little I know, the word catacomb is like our cemetery that we have now, but uh, back then they used to be on the ground. Have some unique features here, exactly. have some unique features and has some not unique features because the unique features that arch there that arch, oh, is, exactly. is beautiful. Exactly. And uh, other catacombs they have, the Aga, Aga, Agapa, Agata. What is, what is this? Table, it's like a table made okay. on the floor. Okay. I'm sure I'm, I'm pronouncing it not Wrong. good, but I will. Right. It was a table for okay. them, but it was, and the mold in particular, it was made from stone, not uh, built, okay. but carved in the stone. Right. And here they are carved in the stone as well. So let's start viewing these catacombs. Let's go. Let's go. Hot, eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, by the way, today you can call us crazy because it's uh, in August. The temperature is over 35 degrees in the shade and, and, instead, of, Malta. Hey, and Malta. instead of being <laughs> in the sea, but today it was too windy to, exactly, yeah, to go by kayak. So let, right. let them see the catacombs because we are talking too much now. Okay. Well, the catacombs here consist of this main uh, chamber which is divided in many other chambers. And here we have another one which is, uh, I think it's uh, one chamber. But we'll look at that after. So let's start by checking this one out. As soon as we go in, this is the main corridor we have in front of us that goes in. Then we have a chamber on our left and behind Papa, there's another chamber here. Well, let's start with this small one. It, uh, everywhere you look around, they have carvings. The, the, the chamber looks, it has a frame with it. How, how exactly. nice it is. So, and Maybe even, they can they close it, Pierre. Could be, yes. And even if you look here, uh, yeah, exactly. there are... Uh, like, like two holes. Two holes, yeah. Maybe they used to put stuff in there. Then if you look inside here, these. It has like uh, containers, small containers. Maybe they were used to put offerings in them. These uh, carvings in the wall, uh, they, we used to see them where they used to put uh, the oil lamps. And here, and this looks like a two person barrier chamber. Then, if we go on our, on this side, uh, there's more. There's Maybe more. they were used to put uh, Oil lamps here, and if we get inside here, look. It's very interesting. Eh? Yeah, there are two chambers. If you look in here, there's one chamber here. And uh, uh, if you look as well uh, here, you can see that these chambers has a frame around them. Then there is this hole. Uh, and if you go inside, there are these uh, like uh, containers carved in the wall. And if you look inside there. And there are uh, another strange thing is they have like holes in them. Uh, let me show you. You see? They are like connected by holes. You go out and there's the next chamber. As well, we find here uh, a part of these carvings. All of them like they have a frame uh, going around them. And even they have uh, this, maybe they used to put a stone and with this, they, like a wooden something to hold the stone in place. But that is something that I, I am telling you, I'm not sure about. Then if we go inside here, is another chamber with carves in the wall, most probably for offerings and for the air limbs. All of them has these carvings, are most probably the big ones were for the heads. And here where they use the, the feet of a lizard, which we are annoying right now. And so let's go out from here. 
Well, although this uh, this catacomb is very small, uh, it's uh, quite uh, elaborate about my about how many chambers there is. And now I'm going to show you a feature of this uh, of this place, which is, I think, the highlight of this exactly. chamber. So, well, uh, and this is this one here. Look how beautiful it is. This. Uh, design of tomb in this catacomb I never see it before it's beautiful uh, still contains the colors of that time and we are speaking very very long time ago if you see this one is particular in shape because it has these like steps here and here and has the frame as well boom another lizard but this arch here is impressive huh? And then if we go inside here, it has the same, uh, like two cups for the heads. And then it's like standard here, it has where they can put oil and maybe offerings in here. And inside here, it's still like the others. Going out here, still in the corridor. This maybe they were going to do another one here, but on this side here, we can find another one and with the same structure as this one but doesn't have the markings like the one I can see here although as you can see Paka here it has something in the middle that yeah, exactly. looks like they were going to do a design like yeah, that there were a design but with, with time it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's ruined you know inside here uh, now we are getting used to a standard shaper because uh, there's a hole there that connects to the other one. This I don't know the meaning, anybody knows about it. Please comment below. I'm speaking about that small hole there. But many of them are connected. Uh, it's amazing, yeah? Then if we go out here, uh, we're going to find two. One on top, oh sorry, one on top and one on bottom. The one on top uh, has this. Most probably, uh, what I can see Paka, here, uh -huh. that like they fix the uh, wooden here, a wooden, uh, okay. what you call, uh, a wooden rod or something. Right. And then they can push it on in here, and if they have a slip, here it will uh, fix okay. in place. Right. And even if you look at this, like right. some right. kind of frame, okay. like cement it is, but I'm not sure if cement was present at the no, time. No, I don't think so. Though. Well, and here is this design. Uh, and if you see there, uh, you can see there's another hole that connects to another chamber. These uh, are all like connected. Here, huh? to, to, to make air circulate. I don't circulate know why and why they will want to uh, connect it to the other. And then for, if you, for, for a ventilation like, you know? I don't know. Then if you go like this, uh, there's another one. They are very small, but with the same structure. Uh, it's amazing, yeah, this and, and if you uh -huh. see, there's something here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I told them that, yeah, like they were, were starting to, they were starting to, to carve one. in the stone. Uh -huh. and they we continue inside there. Uh, we continue to find another one. We have to count them, pack how many there are. Uh, they, here it's carved uh, shallow, and it has this part here. And uh, could be that when they put this stone here, something to keep it in place. If we look inside there. Uh, it's another big chamber, most of them, they were for two people. Then we have, we are in the last part of the chamber, so if you look inside here, there's another chamber, there's the hole that connects to the other chamber, and here is the inside of this place. Continue here, it looks that uh, the marking of the carving they did, it's a... Uh, Easy to say here that it was all by hand. Imagine how hard it was. Here you can see like a frame going around there as well. And inside here, there's another chamber. Amazing here, yeah, Rebecca. Very nice, eh? I think how many de there are chambers? If we count, well, there is 10, 10 chambers. It's 10 chambers in one catacomb. Right? Exactly. And it's not, it's not big, it's not very big catacombs, eh? In a small, it's like a small place, but there is 10. And it's uh, elaborate, it's uh, how it is, oh, how exactly. it is. Interesting. Exactly. So, let's continue going up now, so because we have another chamber to check. Yeah, is there a small, there is another small one. Yeah. Now we're on the way out. 
This is the most amazing part of my pack here. This one I can give away. It's amazing, yeah, yeah. Really amazing. It's very really nice, yeah. And the colors. Yes. So I don't know if it's, a, if it's a color or I think it's a color, not the stone. And now we have the other one, Paka, here. Yes, the small one. Huh. It's very small. It's very small. Eh? I think in a way or another we will fit. Mela, here. Here, what we have here, Paka, it's another catacomb, both small, small one. Small a one. chamber, I think, not a... Yeah, there, there's, there's a chamber. A very interesting feature that you are pointing out is... This one, or uh -huh. You see, like, um, I don't know what, it, what they did here, there was uh -huh. something for sure. Decorations, so, oh, and here. And this, something interesting more, there are two, like, two, two levels. Maybe they to step in, but it was a big one, this, compared to the others. There is, a, like, a hole there, mm -hmm. and there is a... So let's go in to check this part. Uh, I will go in because it's very small. Uh, uh, we struggle, eh? Because uh -huh. it's small. But let's try to explore this part. It's very small, so I have to go like this. It's super small compared to me. That's why there's the... You go down here, Paka. You see, that's what I think, no? It's very small, give me the camera. Look how small it is in here. It's amazing. This is the whole design I'm taking, talking to you about. Her. This I think where they used to put oil lamps. But these holes are intriguing. Yeah? I have to check these out. Well, now let's go out again. The hole looks smaller when you are so big. So. But it's been a very interesting place, eh, though, see? Small, but interesting. You go? Climb. It's hot, huh? It's hot, we go. Well, from Talmala, catacombs, which are across the valley there. Now we are at Miss Ia Tanks. It's a large rocky area with a lot of tanks carved in it. Uh, about 500 meters away, we find the um, Nidra, Nidra and then Hajar Im. And these are the tanks which we will explore now. Look, lots of carvings there. And we'll go inside and show you from inside there. Hello there, now we are at Miss Ia Tanks. This is one of the tanks that were built in that era. I will put uh, the dates when I find them because I forget them, unfortunately. Mela, I get the camera, give me the camera, Paka. Mela, this is the structure from here, a circular shape. It's a little bit goes down there, but it uh, there uh, doesn't go anywhere. Then from here, you have to pass to other side, this is the opening of this big well, uh, Miss Ia is uh, an old uh, Maltese well. Sa'i, when you water the plants. Let's go up. And now we have to pass from here, have my back there and go up. Let's crawl out of here. Well, now I have to crawl, because here it's very low. I know, I know that I'm not so graceful like this. But to explore such places, you have to do everything. That's the only thought spot. Look. Piece of very old China. It's interesting, eh? Yeah. Let's go out now. Uh. 
As usual, this place is remind me that I'm getting old. This is the place that I, I was in. And these are some of the holes around. This is the place I was in, no Paka? And if we go around here, uh, this was a water storage. And imagine at that time to cover, make a cover. They used a one ton stone maybe. <laughs> Look, this is have still have water in it. Uh, and they are connected with this here. Uh, and another amazing feature of this place is remember, it's miss yeah. Look how this stone have been carved to fit in each other. Eh? And here is the well, although it's very dark. Eh? Yeah, everywhere you look have been carved there. You see? There's another one here. Keep in mind that if you come here in at night, if you fall in this, some of them you will not go up without aid. And here are some information about this place. It tanky it tal misia. Misia tanks. This is the aerial view. And here is some information. From Talmala catacombs. Now to the Miss Ia. Thanks. Uh, we'll end our adventure here. It yes. was interesting. Oh. It was interesting. It's very, very nice. It's impressive. We have been passing from here many, many times. And you, and you don't know about them. And we you? didn't know about this. Huh? And this one, where we are here, it's, we didn't know. It's very unique. Huh? Yeah, with the, with all the carvings and, and big stones. It's incredible. And it's just 500 meters from Nydia. Well, uh, until next time, me, Pierre Farrugia, Vince Paca, Angelo couldn't do it, but he will be with the next one. Exactly. Until next time, bye bye. What do you think, Paca? We go? Because it's hot, huh? It's what hot. You think? Because it's just mid August mid -August. in the sun. No, no, no. It's four, four degrees, maybe. Four, five o'clock in the, yeah, in the, in the sun. No, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, we are crazy. Let's we need go. need water because it's finished, isn't it? You know what we need now? Yeah. We are Maltese. Well, either right. the things. Either kini, kini, kini or cheese. Or twisties. Mala kini, <laughs> but first kini, then cheese and twisties. Let's go. Bye. See you.